it's time for some headphones. Hey guys, it's not the first time I've got Comey headphones or earbuds in this case in my hands. Previously I've talked about one of the products in this video, so if you're interested in uh, another variant uh, you can click through and watch this. But today we're going to talk about Comey Freedom Dots. I mean Freedom, that sounds awesome, right? Just by looking at the design, I'm not the biggest fan, if I'm honest. Uh, I prefer those tiny little ones that goes inside your ears and stay there. But, well, I promise I'm gonna have two weeks overview and uh, share my thoughts. So here we are, two weeks later, with Comey Freedom Dots. It's gonna take me a while to actually remember this name. Inside the box, it's pretty standard. You get a case, two earbuds, couple of spare parts to get the best fit you can, and the charging cable. Now the case is slightly bigger than I would like, but the shape of it is actually not too bad and it doesn't really bother you in a pocket. Now it's USB Type-C, so I'm glad that uh, Comey brings this case to the 21st century, because some of the uh, manufacturers are still forgetting to add USB Type-C. Inside the case you'll find 500 milliamps battery, which promises to charge the headphones about four to five times. That's enough to cover you for 24 hours and the individual earbuds can last up to six hours, which is pretty awesome and I'm looking forward to actually testing these outside. Since you've got such a big case, it would make so much more sense to add a couple of more LEDs to indicate the status of the battery of the case and the individual earbuds. Although you can check the individual earbuds via mobile phone and that's not a big issue, uh, it annoys me that I can't really tell how much charge is left in a case or how long it's going to take to charge these. On average it takes about two hours to top it up so it's not that bad. Pairing has been redesigned slightly as well because there is a button in a case responsible for pairing process. That's something I actually like because Finicking with buttons on the earbuds, it's less than ideal. Now the pair fairly quickly and by the time you're gonna take them out of the box and put them inside your ears, you'll be all ready to go. There's a one more thing I should mention, that you're gonna be guided by a female voice. However, for the first time I think in ever, I don't actually hate the voice triggering different instructions. It's not annoying, it kind of fades there anyway. To get the best audio experience, it's best to try different parts. Unfortunately, despite me going through all the part sizes, I was not able to get the perfect fit. But your experience and mileage may vary, because, well, we all have different ears, right? But once they're inside, you can start to marvel at squeeze controls. Yes, there is no physical buttons on the earbuds and there is no touch interface either. All the controls happen by squeezing gently on the sticking out bit from the earbuds. It's actually pretty cool because this means that there will be no accidental touches, no touches prompted by rain, and you can operate these with the gloves on. Squeeze it once to control play and pause. You can also answer the calls. If you squeeze it twice, depending on which side you did it, you're gonna go to the next song or go backwards. Now, unfortunately, there is no volume control, which is something you'll have to adjust using either voice commands or buttons on your phone. Squeeze it three times to bring out the voice assistant and you'll be able to issue controls and long squeezes cycles through different modes of ANC. In my test, I found on the range on these, it's about 15 meters, which is probably what you need. I've not had a situation when they would cut on me, even when the phone was in the back pocket. I'm also pleased to confirm that during media playback there was no latency, so what you see is what you get and what you hear inside your ear. Which is a nice poem. Moving on, let's talk about ANC, because these actually have the best ANC I got to experience on earbuds. There are three available modes. There is a normal when the AAC is disabled, there is a pass-through or hear-through or ambient sound or transparency mode, whatever you want to call it, where you can actually use the microphones on these things to bring the sounds from outside to your ears and it's quite useful if you want to be more aware of the situation. 
And the third mode is obviously active noise cancellation, which is pretty decent actually, however I did not get to enjoy the full extent of it due to poor fit of the headphones. Now that we know everything about these in terms of specification, let's talk about blissful music experience. And since they are about $50 on Amazon, they actually sound like $50 Amazon headphones. So in terms of balance, well, the bass and middle range, it's actually quite impressive. However, the highs are not resolved as neatly and you're probably gonna enjoy uh, upbeat music more than acoustic versions of your favorite songs. But you can combat that with the equalizer. So if you're going to open your favorite music playback app, you get to adjust that to your preference. The calls are okay. I mean, these are airbuds, it's nothing spectacular, but in a pinch it will help you to have a normal conversation with whoever is on the other side and they should not complain about the uh, quality of the microphone. With the six hour battery life, I was really looking forward to take them cycling, although with my experience, to be honest, I was anticipating that design shape to give me some problems. Earbuds stayed in my ears entire time and I was actually enjoying operating them with the thick gloves, something that you don't get to do on many of the earbuds. However, the design itself caused a lot of wind resistant noise, which is only amplified by ANC. As I travel with the speeds of terrified ostrich on a smooth tarmac, well, commuting with these was less than ideal. But not all hope is lost, and if you like running instead of cycling, well, you can take advantage of 6 hour battery life and the fact that they don't fall out. Add this to the fact that it's going to be very easy to control these and change tracks, even while bouncing, you should have pretty positive experience. They might not be my favorite headphones for cycling, but definitely an interesting choice if you're looking for headphones in under $50. If you're interested, in the description of this video, you're gonna find a link to get yourself Comey Freedom Dots and check it for yourself. As for now, big thanks for Comey for sending these so I could take a look at them and review it for you. And if you're interested in more videos, there's a couple of things that I'm gonna tell you now. First, I do not have a posting schedule, so you know how YouTube works and how to get notification when needed. Second of all, uh, there is a list of social media there, and it's best to engage with me in a conversation via social media. I get pretty chatty, and I would strongly recommend you to do so. That way you're also going to get notification whenever there is a new article. As for now, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.